Hi everyone and welcome. This is going to be my Christmas book video. So these are all my Christmas books. I will have a few more coming that I will try to include in a November haul. Um, some of these I just kind of wanted to show real quick are PDFs in case you are into the printable versions of books. So these are, this is a Mariola Boo deck. It is also in the Coloring Haven special this year. This is a Kelly Horton. She has a Little Darlings Christmas book. So if you're interested in those, they are very cute. Deborah McDonald has a Have a Handmade Holiday where she sells all her Christmas cards and ornaments and fridge magnets and stuff like that. That was a Kanoko Yugesa freebie. This is Color It. They send out freebies also and it actually came on really good paper. That is another Color It. Coloring Book Cafe has their Christmas book printables out. And then this was a freebie from Exena Zilli. So those are some freebies if interested. So my first book is going to be my Coloring Haven Christmas special. I got this last year. It has four different artists in it. I have not actually colored in the book as I was not... I didn't feel brave enough last year, so this year will probably be my first year actually coloring in the book. So I'm not sure if this one is still for sale on their website, but I know they do have their book for this year coming out. So they usually do two. They have one from mixed artists like this, and then they have one from just one artist. Last year was um, Tatiana Bogoma, the artist who does Nice Little Town, so she did a whole book on hers. Nice Little Town Nice. So these are Charles Santor images. He does really great sketchy kind of work if that's what you're into. Sorry, make sure my light is shining here so you guys can see. And then there's one more artist in here. Alfred Villanueva, and I'm not sure how to say his last name for sure. But he does the 12 Days of Christmas. So this is your partridge in a pear tree, your two turtle doves, three French hens, four calling birds, Five golden rings, six geese laying, seven swans a swimming, eight maids a milking, there is my uncolored version, nine ladies dancing, ten lords a leaping, eleven pipers piping, and twelve drummers drumming. I really hope to get this one colored this year. And then Creative Happy Life has one, and I colored hers last year for 2020. It wasn't my favorite, so now that I have some new pencils and some new techniques this year, I'm very glad that I get to retry this. She has a gingerbread house. I love gingerbread houses. And then she also has this one, which I've also colored, but I am going to try again this year because I also wasn't happy and that one and I really like her images so I'm hoping to get hers colored so that one was the Christmas special next is a design originals Mary and bright so this book is also different artists and it tells you at the bottom so if you're not sure who you're into this is a fairly cheap book that just gives you a little bit of everybody so this is Athenia McArdle hello angel Robin Pickens, and then it tells you from Marion Bright Holiday Coloring Book. Oh, what fun! Valerie McKean, Marion Bright, and there the the Nia McArdle. So just lots of different cute pages. Some winter, some more Christmas. Love the snowman. Cute little penguins. Hello, Angel. 
It gives you a quote on this side and a spot to write your notes. So if you, these are perforated pages, but if you don't take your pages out, then you can write like right here. I used Prisma pencils, this and that, gel pen. So this quote is from the Grinch. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. What if Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. What if Christmas perhaps means a little bit more from Dr. Seuss. So very cute. Nice quotes. A little bit of different style pages. This is William Vanderson from Mary and Bright Holiday Coloring Book. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Winter Wonderland. The Nia McArdle. And I can tell Thinia's work because her work is just gorgeous. So hers really stands out in this book. Zenia McArdle. So if you are into the very sim simplistic, larger work, then Thania is a great artist to start with. This is a Thania McArdle. And I do have her holiday cheer book I will be showing you if you stick with me for a moment so you can see what I mean. Snowman and a kitty. Be merry. The name McArdle, isn't that cute? I feel like one side of my foot is dark here. Snowman. And then it has some colored ones in the back. I really like the blue they used on this background. So that is Merry and Bright Holiday Coloring Book. This is the only book I have from this artist, this is Maja Vandenberg, My Wonderful, My Wondrous World Enchanted Winter. I am not going to lie, I ordered this book last year without watching a flip and I was super excited because I heard the paper was great, which it is, very thick, a little bit of an off-white, they are not perforated, but when I actually got the book, I was a little disappointed, they weren't exactly the winterous wonderland I was expecting. So it's good to watch a flip. So I figured I would flip this one in case anyone else was interested in it this year or runs across it. I'm sure it is somebody's style. I was just expecting something different. I could probably use markers in this book because as you can tell by these images, some of them don't have a whole lot you can ruin on the other side. I would never get all these wallpapered images colored in my lifetime with all the other books I have too. So I could probably cut this one in half and color half of this pine cone one. I could be okay with that. But it's definitely not a book I'd probably get complete. And if I did, I probably wouldn't have done a very good job. Sorry, my book doesn't lay very flat because I haven't colored in it yet. Cute little fox. Wallpaper. And a cute tree. And there's the back. Wondrous and enchanting season of winter. This book is filled with dazzling and dazzling illustrations of winter animals and snowy landscapes. So by reading that when I seen it, I was just expecting something a little different than what I got. But that is Enchanted Winter. Next I have Jade Summer's Cute Christmas. This is, I believe, the only Jade Summer Christmas I have. I did hear she's coming out with Chibi Girls Christmas. So if she does that, then I will probably add it to my collection. But for now, this is what I have to work on. And this is the line art. I'm not sure if last year she went through and made these into grayscale books or not. 
This is about the time I found Jade Summer myself and started buying her books. So I'm not real sure what is going on. But they are very cute images. You get two of each one. Not perforated. Black background. Very cute. When I started, yes, I've already started Christmas coloring. Christmas takes me so long to color that I have to start in November to get an actual decent amount of Christmas pages done. This <laughs> this little deer, my daughter always calls him Sven. Says he looks like Sven off Frozen. So he will probably be colored to look like Sven. And then this is the second duplicate pages. So that is Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. Next I have Elf Village by Coloring Book Cafe. Another one I bought last year. I do have their coloring book for this year coming. And I will include it in my November haul in case you're interested. If you're getting your Christmas books ordered. I am thankful I have so many that I can get started already. Very cute pages in this one too. I think this one and the Jade Summer one are my favorite. This is one I colored, acrylic background. I made a copy so I can color it again. I think this year I will color straight in the book. It's easier to keep track of things that way. Little elf, cute, <laughs> pulling each other over the fence. A cute page. I love using gel pen and glitter, glitter glue, anything sparkly, make the snow sparkle, iridescent nail polish. Love Christmas time just because there's so many cool tricks you can incorporate into snow and ice and trees and lights and. So I'm really excited this year to see what I can accomplish. That's cute. So that is Coloring Book Cafe. Let me get my page back in there. Elf Village Coloring Book. Okay, the next one I'm just going to quickly get out of the way, I actually have two, is The Living Colors. Let me grab my other one. Sorry, I thought I had everything together. So I'm not going to do full flips of these books. Um, these were last year, so I'm not even sure if you can buy them this year, but I'm sure they will have another version out. It just won't be exactly the same. But this is Living Colors. I'm just going to give you a quick flip just to kind of show you what their style is in case you run into one and you're unsure. I probably wouldn't get to color every page in this book, but I do like this page. That deer is cute. This is cute. So there's a few in here. I could probably color and then get rid of the rest of the book that's taking up space. This is another one. Um, from Walmart in the magazine section, Christmas Cats Festive, festive Felines. <laughs> and I do, I know these are stalker images, but I do love these ones. This one is adorable. Um, because it's cheap paper, I am perforated, I can tear them out, I can paint them, I can soak them in glitter, I can copy them onto watercolor paper. My options are limitless. And so it's just a nice kind of book, you know, just to try things out on. Um, feline Festive. That's too cute. This would be a cute one if you wanted to practice drawing in your fireplaces. So he don't look like he's just floating there. Meowy Christmas. Aw, he's sleeping in his stocking. 
snow globe if you need to practice your snow globes. Plan on doing some snow globes this year myself. She is cute. She would be a fun one to play a background with. You could just do Christmas lights behind her or a tree or... That's a good picture. So yeah, I do like this book. It was $10, so I probably could have got two books on Amazon for the price of this one, but it caught my eye. It was cute, and I adore Christmas. So win-win. Meowie Christmas. A lot of fun pages to try. So Christmas cats. Next, I have Hannah Lynn's A Whimsy Girl Christmas. I will go through all the pages. I will show you the thumbnail, because I know a lot of pretty popular book and this is 2016 so it has been around for a while. Her images are also in the Coloring Haven Christmas edition this year. If you don't want the whole book but you're in, you like a couple of her images. I did order mine but it's not here yet to show you or I would show you which images come in it. Lots of cute, there's a mermaid, that is cute, little girl, I do believe I tried to color this one and never could get it right, I've seen this one colored adorable, so at least this book should, and you get two of each image. I should get a few done out of it, hopefully. I have a lot of Christmas books, and so I really need to kind of prioritize what I want to get done. I know there's like one page in every book, but I know my stack is so huge that I am not going to get that many done. I do like this one. I think I will try to do this one. Polar bear and mermaid. That one, her sweater's blank if you want to draw on your own Christmas sweater. The partridge in the pear tree. And that is Hannah Lynn's Whimsy Girl Christmas. This is holiday cheer. This is the Nia McArdle. So she is very cute, very simplistic, very large artwork, if you have never seen her work. She, all her books, no not right now, sorry little one, she's wanting to say hi. Um, so she always gives you pattern techniques, shading, blending, in all her books, color theory and combinations, and then she gives examples of colored pages. Sorry, right, trying to keep the glare off. <laughs> it's very cute, very bright. I love this color palette. I did quite a bit of work in this book last year, but there are still a couple I would like to get done. I really should have just worked on the collection I have instead of ordering more Christmas books, but I couldn't resist when there's so many new books out. And everybody's coloring them so beautifully. There's a Christmas present. Again, she has the quotes and the lines if you want to write down what you did. There's a Christmas unicorn. This one tears right here. It's perforated. Oh, actually, this book... Is not oh yep it is it's perforated so you can tear off this color chart on the bottom if you don't want it once you color and then the words are up higher so if you do tear that off you're not missing anything so it gives you the color palette if you want to follow it this is my version of it I made a copy that's why the bottom is black and gray so this is their version I didn't follow, but I think it still turned out pretty cute. 
There's that one. I do like that it gives you ideas though, because like this one I think I'd get stuck on. And this one is so bright, I would have never thought to do a bright pink wheels on the bike. Wish you a meowy Christmas. Cute little reindeer tree. Merry Christmas. This is my version of her teddy bear. I added the Merry Christmas on the hat. That did not come with it. If you don't like that, you can do your own version. And then there's all of them in the back. So that is Cynia McArdle's Holiday Cheer. This next one is a set. You can buy them separate, but they are the same artist. So this is Nice Little Town Christmas, and this is Nice Little Town Christmas 2. So depending on which, what you're into, you might not want both of these books. I will show you why. This book is not, it's more Christmas, but less of her mice. So this is just her straight Christmas images and not so much the little mice in the houses and whatnot. The other book, Nice Little Christmas 2, is the mice book. So depending on what images you're looking for from her, then that might help you. I'm not doing a full flip. And these are just um, pages from her other books, so that's her Halloween. So those aren't really Christmas, but there is the back of that one. So that one is Nice Little Town Christmas, the first one. And this is Nice Little Town Christmas 2. So if you are into the mice and the cute little creatures, then this is the one you want. I had bought Coloring Haven's book of this last year, which are the same images pretty much, but on nicer paper. And for the life of me, I have no idea what I've done with it. I have all my Christmas books with that one. And I was really sad because I was stoked to color in it this year. But I guess I can color in this too. Because they're the same images. Little Santa's up here. Looks like Christmas story. <laughs> Very cute. Just some quick little ones and then a list of her other books. So that is My Little, Nice Little Town Christmas too. Sorry. Next I have Helen Elliston, Inky Christmas. Um, Helen Elliston is, she does Inky Ocean, Inky Garden, all kinds of Inky books. I do believe I don't, UK. So these guys are having a Christmas barbecue. And her images are very cute as well. Very different. See, there's the carolers. This must be Santa's workshop. There's an elf. 
and it's a smaller book it's a nice little square book take it with you if you travel for Christmas brandy saw so there's some Christmas treats looks like all the elves hanging out on the bookshelf her gingerbread house Dear Santa, this is thin paper, not perforated. So if you wanted to copy it onto better paper, you could. It does lay flat very well. I have another one of her books I have colored a lot in, The Inky Galaxy. That page is very cute. Welcome to the North Pole, Elf Workshop, Santa's Chocolate Factory, The Stables, Grotto, Mailroom. That's kind of neat. Some reindeers. The Ice Bar, all the little penguins. <laughs> Super cute ideas. What do you need? Official letter, Dear Santa Claus, my name is, I have been good or naughty this year, and I would really like some of these gifts. Super cute, you could sign your kid's name there. Yep, just be quiet, okay? Don't do a lot of banging. Time change has really thrown us off, and my daughter is so crabby, so even though she was still awake, I figured I had better get this video up and going. She is not a fan of time change. And then there's a test page. So that was Helen Elliston's Volume 10. She has a website with lots of pages too. Yankee Christmas. Okay, so I think, sorry if that was loud. This one I just got this year. I haven't colored in. I will not do a full flip because I know a lot of people already have it. I'm kind of behind on the challenge here. But this is um, Johanna Basford's Christmas book. So you get an image on one side, her one-sided book, and then wallpaper on the other. Very cute. And I would love to get one colored in this book. As you can see, I've started blacking out my candy page. That's why Christmas takes me so long because I bounce from project to project. I'm like, oh, I got a great idea on this book. Oh, I got a great idea on this book. So that's Johanna. And then I have these two. These are both Camellia and Jokova. And I know they are new, so I know lots of people have them. I also have the 50 Winter Miniatures which is what I meant to order instead of the mandalas, but, so I will just do her, I do believe both of these were about $4.99. Her books are not real expensive. Amazon paper, not perforated. So that's just a quick idea of the Christmas mandalas. Winter mandalas very cute. If you've liked all her autumn mandalas and whatnot, then I'm pretty sure you'll like this book. It's the same cute style, but not a lot of the same repeating critters or anything like that, or, you know, to get tired of. They each have their own very different critters and themes, but the same classic cutesy style. That is 50 Wintertime Mandalas. Okay, we'll, we'll check it out in a minute, okay? My next one is Christmas Color by Number. So I did order this book for the Amazon Prime. This is part of my November haul. This was part of my Prime Day. However, I am going to warn you for anyone that's ordered this book. So I had technical difficulties. My video all of a sudden just quit recording. 
in the middle of this one. So I'm starting this one again. Um, what I was trying to tell you before I realized that my phone had quit recording was that if you ordered any of these books from Amazon to check your pages before you color too much in them. If you can see right here, see if my phone will focus it. My numbers are jumbled and overlap. I also have a couple on this side. And so some of them you can figure out what they are, but others you can't and you have to play the guessing game. They do give you a thumbnail. Still not exactly helpful. I tried contacting Dover and they blamed it on Amazon. Amazon blames it on Dover. And so somewhere along the line, somebody is going to give, I paid $10 for the autumn book. This one was $4.99. So I wouldn't be as upset about, but I did pay $10 for the autumn book. So I am a little disappointed that um, nobody wants to make it right, pretty much. I still do like the images in it. I do think I like this Christmas one more. And I have taken the time to try to flip through the pages and look in all the small spaces and make sure it doesn't have any of the same problems. And I haven't caught any but it is kind of one of those until you get in there and start coloring, they, they're they kind of hard to find. But this is a super cute book. I have tried markers and pencils on them. I do like the pencil a little more because I can blend them together, but the marker does give a pretty good painty effect. Very cute. So many Christmas sweets. I am so just so ready for Christmas. Christmas makes me happy. I feel like I can just forget all this corona and election and just happy times. Family and snow and just all that good stuff that comes with it. So this is a Chris the Christmas color by number by Creative Haven. And then I have a few more of their books. So this is Creative Christmas. This is Marjorie Sarnat. And I have colored the Xanta. I love how it turned out. I absolutely love it. I love my border. I love my polka dots. I love it all. So that is what he looks like uncolored. And then I have colored the snowmen, which I'm pretty pleased with as well. And that's what they look like uncolored. So I will show you a couple pages in this book. I do think as far as Creative Haven Christmas books go, this is one of my favorites. Love this page. So this will probably have hopefully one or two from me done this year. They are just very cute. They're a little busy but not incredibly crowded and start at the background on this. I'm telling you, see, I just, I'm so excited that I have just jumped from project to project, just little dabbles everywhere. So that is Creative Christmas Marjorie Sarnet. That is how that one looks. Next is Country Christmas, Teresa Goodrich. I do not like this page I colored, so I will be tossing that and redoing it. Just did not come out how I wanted. The one good thing about Dover books is they're usually fairly cheap, so if I find one like the Creative Christmas that I absolutely adore, I usually buy two. And then I have a practice copy and a perfected copy. This is also create. Teresa Goodridge. This is a new book for this year. This is Christmas Charm. And so in this one, it has a few of the same images, just tweaked a bit. So this is kind of like the one I colored, but it has a few more people. Skates. A little snowman outside. Adorable. More treats. Toy village. So lots of storefronts. 
Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. That one kind of looks like the one I colored too. So there is Christmas Charm. Next I have Winterscapes and this is Jessica Mazurkowitz. And this is um, more of a wallpaper image book. So they are all this type of image. I have not colored in this one yet, but I have had a couple ideas running through my head. I really want to color this one piece up. So we will see how it goes, what I can figure out to make these pages neat. That is Winterscape. The Nutcracker, Marty Noble. This is a very beautiful book, but it is a little intimidating to me. I have not colored in this book yet. 2018. I've seen it and I've seen a flip through and I was like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Beautiful pages. Not overly detailed. And then I got it and I was just like, I have no idea what to do with all of this. I don't know what. So I never colored it. It's still in perfect shape. Barely left the bookshelf. So maybe this year will be the year I will dive into a Nutcracker page. There's their colored image. So that is Magical Scenes from the Nutcracker Designs coloring book, Marty Noble. Next is David and Legina Bodo, and this is Vintage Christmas Windows. 30 festive windows to color. I'll just give you a quick idea of what this book is about. Little cat in a tree. <laughs> There's the one that was on the cover, the kid sneaking down the stairs. This one's looking outside, I believe. This one's looking in if they're putting their turkey in the oven. Cute. There's a Christmas tree. Looks like it's made of roses. This one must be a firehouse. It's got a Dalmatian and a little fire guy flying down the pole. Cowboy one. Auto. So very cute pages. Each one has its own little theme. That is vintage windows. And lastly for now is Tropical Christmas. This is probably my newest Christmas book other than the country Christmas. This is another Jessica Mazurkowitz. This is a very cute Christmas book. It is definitely different than what I am used to here in Wyoming. I don't know if a lot of you have been to Wyoming, but we are usually very cold, very blizzard, roads closed, you're not going anywhere, everything is 30 below freezing. So this book is kind of <laughs> just really opposite to me and I love it because it's just neat to see how other people do Christmas and I'm kind of jealous. So there's Santa with a coconut in his hand. And they got dolphins in their snow globe, flamingos on their Christmas lights, their little wreath has a bird, baby it's warm outside. I do love the snow and the frost and the Christmas trees and the candy canes, but I'm not going to lie, it would be nice maybe one Christmas to be able to build a sand castle. There's little turtles, Christmas trees. Yuletide, Jolly Roger. So this is just a fun book. It was a great idea, I think. Warmest wishes. So there's your ugly sweaters, but Hawaiian style. Have yourself a beachy little Christmas. 
Even their little gingerbreads are wearing bikinis. <laughs> so very cute. The reindeer are playing volleyball too. Watermelon. Pool with presents. So this was my Hall er, Halloween, oh my goodness, Christmas collection, sorry. I thank you for watching. I'm sorry for the glitch in the middle there. I'm not sure what happened and for the little voices and interruptions in the background. I will have my November haul up soon. So I look forward to showing you a few more Christmas books I have found. Hopefully they will be here and I hope to see you in the next one.